All right, tonight, WUSA 9 is taking a closer look at the deadly opioid epidemic. With more than 2,600 deaths a year, fentanyl overdoses are a growing problem in Virginia. There's a new way to track the use of this synthetic opioid neighborhood by neighborhood. WUSA 9 investigative reporter Nathan Baca joins us now with the details on that. Nathan. Well, Lorenzo, it's through wastewater. Samples are taken of raw, untreated sewage at water pumping stations. Now, Delaware has been doing it for the last few months. And Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin wants the Commonwealth to start doing it as well. Wastewater fentanyl tracking can be so precise that it can tell if one neighborhood of around three to four thousand people is experiencing a surge in fentanyl use separate from the next neighborhood. The goal use sewage tracking to specifically target fentanyl assistance funds and hopefully save lives. Everybody poops. It's not a biased sample. It enables us to look in an unbiased way and say, hey, in this neighborhood where we never thought there were spikes in cocaine use and fentanyl use, we need to pay more attention to these neighborhoods. So it allows us as policymakers make decisions without traditional biases.